I'm here amongst a host of other special members of what might be described as the forerunners. I have been here personally, overseeing the preparations for what was to occur through the physical intercession on behalf of the Galactic Federation, whom are now readily present on mass. The groundwork for what you are currently witnessing on the planet had begun thousands of years ago. For the last years, you're here now, have only been witness to the final denouement of a story which has its beginnings wrapped in the shrouds of a distant and forgotten mysterious history. These things are not for you to concern yourself with an idle consternation. Suffice to say that, at this juncture, metaphorically speaking. The aeroplane has left the hangar, taxied along the runway, shift into acceleration for flight and is now feeling the lightness of the uplift of its landing gear. Firstly, then, you are being encouraged to focus your passionate feelings on projects and causes that encompass those spiritual values that really matter to you, so that you can't help but take action. There is a hidden depth to this night, so sometimes what you think and feel strongly about can be hidden in the unconscious and under layers of conditioning, so needs active exploration to bring out into this light. The opposite pole to this is where you allow your strong or unconscious emotions to be the master of you, leading to overwhelm, depression, helplessness, and so a sense of having no agency to change anything. This is not true, but you may need to do some inner work to dismantle any beliefs or thought patterns you have run in that tell you it is. In this case, the knight represents someone skilled in navigating these kinds of unconscious waters with compassion and understanding, who can help you find a way through. If you know you need support in this, the next four weeks are the perfect time to look for that guide. Remember that anything that is not in alignment with love is unreal even though, in the moment, it can seem to be extremely real. You are experiencing an unreal state of life, a state of seeming separation from one another and from God. There is no such state, you have freely chosen to believe that, that is not true, and have constructed an environment in which to experience as very real the fear and an anxiety that such a state would impose upon you. It is a collective ego construct. Your egos are a major aspect of this illusory or dream state. It is their only reality. And therefore, fear is the normal state of mind, especially as it is coming to an end. War is unreal. Anything apart from love cannot and does not last. It is illusory, and those dreaming it will awaken. There is no other possible outcome. Love is your nature, your only nature. Where is not of love, your egos, and all that they appear to inaugurate, institute. And authenticate will simply dissolve and be gone as all come to the realization that only love is real and that what they have been experiencing that is not in complete alignment with it never existed. Let go of all doubts about your worthiness or competence, and most certainly totally refrain from comparing yourselves to others. Whether you see them as more or less spiritually advanced than yourselves, comparisons and judgments such as these are completely meaningless. Mother sees you all just as you are totally and utterly perfect, 
just as she created you. Therefore, in being your beingness, intend to be a fully open channel through which love flows abundantly to all sentient life forms, without any exceptions, and know that that is also God's will for you. You are all most abundantly blessed and loved in every moment, and this state is incapable of change. You are love and nothing else. The other aspect of this kind of visionary action is that, like water, you can just go with the flow and have no expectation of a particular result or end destination. A river alters its course often and in response to changing circumstances. You would be wise to learn to be comfortable with doing the same as you trust the universe and yourself. I'm also sensing from this card that you will need to be deeply rooted in your intuition this month. There may be lots of exciting and attractive propositions on offer, both personally and in the wider social and global contacts that look irresistible. However, don't be immediately taken in by first experiences, as they could be surface only and have no real substance after an exploratory scratch. With anything offered to you this month, sit patiently for a while and feel into it carefully with your higher wisdom. Are you being misled by glamour and sparkly presentation? It's very possible. So wait for that full energy and bodily yes before going for it. This is why it is happening right now. Yes, the human collective is awakening just as divinely intended, enabled by the collective utterly free choice to fully participate. As you look at the world around you and are unable to be unaware of the enormous amount of pain and suffering in so many places. You can also not be unaware that your awakening needs to move forwards powerfully. You are setting and resetting the intent that this happens and this collective intent is extremely effective. Remember that you, each one of you, are at all times eternally fully connected to God, the infinite energy field of love in which all that has been created, or will ever be created, is alive, and are creatively expressing yourselves as individuated expressions of God. Thus your intentions, when aligned with God's as they are right now, are enormously powerful. Therefore, I would confirm for you that the most effective and powerful way in which you can individually assist in the collective awakening is simply by being. Yes, just be. You've been told this many times, and it remains absolutely true. 